Hey, hey, everybody. Big Mike on the mic coming at you. Canyon Velo, February 27th of La Paz. Top of La Paz. I come across this guy. We got in. Legend of the OC. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the top of the slow guys. We wait at the top of the climbs. Oh, my God. This is the first time after one in 1.5, one and a half years, dude. Crazy. This is such, I've been getting dropped on Antonio. Dude, I'm, I don't so, know, I'm going to try. You and me both. I'm going to try too. I know get dropped by, by, the, by the wall. Okay, let's get Whoa. ready. Big Mike on the mic. Start the music, Ed. Yeah, those guys were hitting it hard there, going up the climb to La Paz. Here's the uh, regroup. Um, we got Crazy Mikey. Never disappointing. Did you watch your pro my primer on how to draft? You were the man. You in swimmer, blue swimmer jersey guy. I told you his name's Chris. I know I forgot it. <laughs> Come on, you. I need to be told more than once what somebody's name is. It only took me seven years to figure yours out. Alrighty then, so after that regroup, we ride down to Oso and take the right-hand turn. Looking pro there, Ed. More about Ed later. So, going to talk a little bit about descending here. For some reason, some guys like to, I don't know, I guess I have some experience, but uh, I don't, I don't uh, purport to know everything. But a couple tips here on descending. So, this is us going, dropping into Live Oak. When you drop into Live Oak, there's a spot here, speeding it up, and we get to the corkscrew. All right, a couple tips. Um, if you're not super comfortable descending, uh, go towards the back, because the fast guys are going to be up front. And if you're somewhere in the middle or behind a fast guy, you're going to slow everybody down that's behind you. Um, and that means the guys behind you got to do more to get on. Now the guy right in front of me, Simone, the Canadian madman, <laughs> he, uh, he's a heck of a descender, but both he and I, um, are not on the front and we're not on the front cause there were some guys up at the front, just drilling it. So we get stuck behind some slow guys and you know what? Totally okay to not go super fast downhill. I, I, I get it. Um, it's, uh, especially on the corkscrew, can be a little uh, intimidating. But I know Simone well. He's fast on the downhills because he's a big fullback like me. Actually, he's a fullback. I'm more like a big, large, tight end. So, yeah, see, that's that's just guys going slower, basically, and maybe being a little more inexperienced. Now, Simone knows he's got a now hammer to get up front. The guy to the left, very fit, but a little inexperienced, I'm not going to call him out by name, but good guy, great guy, um, fun to ride with and, uh, and very fit. Um, but here's, here's another mistake. So when there's a, now there's a gap between us and the lead out group. So we're having to make up ground and I'm just sitting on, and I believe that's till in front of me, but the newer, slightly less experienced guy goes flying off the front in an effort, see him there in an effort to get up to the front group. Okay, here's what you want to do. Uh, you want to work with the guys that you're with. It's much more efficient and easier on you rather than close that entire gap yourself. Work with the guys that you're with to close the gap. That way, when you actually get to the climb, you will have more energy to stay with the group. So now it's down to three of us. And honestly, at this point, I kind of don't. I, I had met my right objectives, and that was to make it further than I had made it last week, which I did. I made it all the way to uh, to Live Oak rather than getting dropped on Antonio. Now, there are guys behind us for which I don't have video, but um, Simone and Till are closing uh, the gap quite nicely, and it's nice and flat here. So, again, if, you, if you're slower on the downhills and there's a gap, and when you get down to the flat, you don't want to go flying off the front of the little group you're with to catch up. You want to trade pools, see my video of last week, and work together to get up to the guys that uh, that gapped you. So they're there. See them there? So we're doing this in a slightly uh, more methodical and a much more efficient way. Although Simone and Till are doing all of the work here while I am sitting on. <laughs> um, and, and you can see we actually uh, do 
um, work our way to the lead group without having to completely shred our legs in the process of doing so. So, yeah, so all is good. And listen, whatever your experience level is, come out and ride with us. Uh, if you learn from these videos outstanding, um, there will be some guys in a group ride who will tell you in no uncertain terms how to ride. If you're not riding correctly, don't take it too seriously. Uh, it's, you know, it's all, it's all usually, if someone's talking to you, uh, during a group ride, um, you're, you're in, man, you're in with the crowd. So it's all, it's all good. Just don't take it personally. Some of these guys have been around for a long, long time. All right. So it's all good. We make it back to the group and, uh, I soon, I get dropped soon after, but Hey, that's biking. Speaking of biking, <laughs> this is what it looks like on the uphills with the man, the myth, the legend himself. So let's say 2019, well, 2020 in particular have been tough for some people. And, you know, Ed, dude, man, it's great to see you out here. Hope to see you uh, tomorrow and um, and out, uh, you know, out on all these rides. But Ed's had, yeah, you know, it's been tough for some folks. Tough for a lot of folks, tougher tougher for more than others. Uh, probably known Ed for around 10 years, solid rider. The guy can shred when he's in shape. And uh, he's, you know what? We're going to see him back at the front of the Peloton with me because he and I are at about the same level of fitness. Man, he just bats me there, so he's more fit than me on the climb. Here's the uh, here's the descent. Um, now, I'm a lot bigger than, I know. <laughs> Tell me about it, Ed. <laughs> We're talking how tough that climb is at the... Uh, yeah, that wall is uh, tough. But you know what? Um, as much as I hate going uphill, I, it's inversely proportional to how much I like going downhill, <laughs> which is a lot of fun. And this is a great stretch of road to go downhill on. Um, can hit 45, 50 miles an hour. Ed's got to get in the now illegal super tuck position to hold my wheel. So when, you get, when you're a big boy like me, um, the little guys have got to draft. And I'm just, I'm sitting up here because I actually know Ed is on my wheel, and if I were to get into a super tuck, I would just roll away from him. But Ed, man, good to see you out there again, and uh, I, I know we're going to be seeing more of you. So, um, so yeah, good to see you, man. Uh, all the best to you and your family, and, and uh, you know, it's 2021, so things are going to be looking up. All right, let's go hit some more uh, some more cool cycling action. Ed's going to Ed's gonna, uh, take off here and go to the left, and I'm going to go to the right and keep climbing. And uh, let's go meet up with the group again. Yeah, guys, despite that, what that might have looked like, that one guy was on the road. He didn't go off the road. So here we are, Silverado Fire Station. It's got two wheels and pedals. Come on now. <laughs> all right, everybody. We'll see you out there. Here's some outtakes. The camera all the way to the... To burgundy, burgundy, burgundy. Let's like do right? Big mic on the mic. Start the camera. It's going to start the camera. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta go start the camera. Start the camera. <laughs> See how that works out. Now we're in a room. 